Would you like to create your own web to lead form within Salesforce? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you already have JotForm and Salesforce, but you haven't linked the two together, make sure you grab JotForm for free from the App Exchange. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm tab. And for this, let's go ahead and create a really simple form. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna to choose to create a form. And you can see we have different options. We can start from scratch. We can create a Salesforce form. We can use a template, we can import, and we can create a signable document. So for this example, let's go ahead and start from scratch and I'll show you how to integrate it with Salesforce as well. I'll do it on a classic form. So let's go ahead and grab, we'll do full name and email. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this header right here. Now, because we started from scratch, again, it's not integrated with Salesforce yet. So if I click on my name field, you can see nothing really happens. So let's go ahead and choose the integration over on the right-hand side. We're gonna choose Salesforce integration. And first we have to choose, we want to create a brand new record or do we want to find an existing record? For this, let's go ahead and create a brand new record and I'm gonna do it with my account object. And you can see that it went ahead and it mapped the fields in Salesforce with my form. So let's go ahead and choose the full name field for the account name. And again, if you'd like to add fields, we can do that as well. Let's go ahead and do next. And now it's asking, do you want me to update an existing record if we actually end up finding one? And yes, let's go ahead and turn that on and we'll look for it by the account name. Perfect. And so now we can see that this field is connected and it is integrated with Salesforce. Now, in order to embed this on your website, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to publish. We're gonna do embed. And we have lots of different options to choose from. I'm going to embed mine in a Wix website. So all I need is just this one right up here at the top. Make sure you choose the one that's gonna work best for your website. So I already have a blank website or a blank page created in my Wix account. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add an element and we're going to do embed code, embed HTML. And all I need to do is just paste in that code. We'll do update and we can exit out of this. We're gonna make it fit our website so it's really nice and pretty. And I know for me, I need to make sure that I look at my mobile version as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, drag this down and make it fit perfect. So let's go ahead, we can publish this and we'll give it a test. All right, here we go, it looks great. It fits the screen perfectly, so let's go ahead and fill it out and we'll do submit. Now, not only does this information live in Salesforce, it also lives in JotForm. So if I come back over here and I choose Form Builder and jump over to Tables, we can see her information is here. But let's jump over to our Account tab to see her information within Salesforce. And here she is right here, perfect. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create a web to lead form, get it embedded on your website and start collecting that user data for your Salesforce account, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.